Hello everyone, my name is Roya and today I'm coming to you with the books that I read in the first half of July. Uh, so first one I'm going to talk to you about is The Warden. Um, this is unfortunately a pretty disappointing book to me. Um, it's not that the whole idea wasn't good or anything like that, it's just that the entire thing was so forgettable and the writing style was very meh. So it was kind of, uh, it kind of just gave us stuff instead of details at all. It was just sort of like, and then some undead came out of the, um, out of the bed back alley and then she punched them and I was just so bored it was just told in such a boring way and then we were just kind of told exactly what people were thinking and all of that and I'm just not into that it just made it so boring and so the entire time it was just really hard to read. The Factory Witches of Lowell this was you know fairly enjoyable but really short and uh it's about a bunch of witches working in a factory and forming a union and all that other stuff but like it didn't really get into why they're witches I just didn't really understand what this book was trying to do. Um, the next one I'm going to talk to you about is my worst read um, of the month easily, unfortunately, and that was Angels Before Man. Uh, this uh, I checked it out from the library because I heard that it was really good. I heard someone saying that it was their best read of the year and that they gave it five stars. Uh, not so for me, unfortunately. So this is about the fall of Lucifer. Um, it uh, revolves around Lucifer and Michael falling in love, basically, and nothing happens at all for the first at least half of the book, and then still barely anything happens um, in the next quarter of the book either. And there is very little conflict. Anything bad that happens happens for absolutely no reason. Like God punishes Lucifer for absolutely no reason. And I'm like, where did that come from? Uh, the book contradicts itself all the time. But unfortunately, what comes down must go up eventually. The next book that I read was A Sorceress Comes to Call by T. Kingfisher. This was my favorite book of the year. This was my first uh, five-star read, or second actually five-star read of the year. Um, this comes out on August 6th, so definitely keep an eye out for it. Um, I love T. Kingfisher's books, and uh, this was actually my favorite one so far that I think she's ever written. Um, this uh, is about, it's a loose retelling of the Goose Girl. It's about a girl whose mother is a sorceress and can literally control her. Actually, like, get into her mind and control everything she says or does. Um, she can do all kinds of stuff to manipulate people and all of that. And so basically, um, uh, this, our main character has gone her whole life, not even really understanding that, uh, other mothers don't do this and that it's weird that her mother can do magic. Like she doesn't even really think that that's, um, something that only she is going through until she fi figures that out one day. Um, and her mother decides because her mother's entire goal is kind of like, I want to con people out of money sort of thing. So she wants to, um, get her daughter to marry a rich man for whatever the reason might be. So, uh, so the mother goes to marry, to basically con this noble guy into marrying her in the hopes that in the long run she can then secure a marriage for her daughter and basically reap the benefits of that. So the this is told in alternating perspectives from the daughter and our other main character is the sister of the noble guy who totally sees what's going on and just gradually starts to figure it out. Um, because she, of course, does not want her brother to marry some conniving lady, and her brother just does not see through the lady at all. He completely is just like, oh, well, she's so beautiful, and she's in trouble. I've got to help her. And, um, and so the whole thing is just so good. I loved every second of this book. Um, I had such a good time reading it. Um, it was thought out so well, and it definitely does have a little bit of a creepy aspect to it, too. It's just kind of weird, but it wasn't so creepy that it was too much for me at all. Um, it was like the perfect blend, and I really, really enjoyed this book. And of course, next, um, I had to read the other... Uh, T. Kingfisher ebook that I had, um, which was The Seventh Bride. And this was really, really creepy. It was maybe a little too creepy for me, but it was equally good, really. Um, 
it's about this girl who is just a Miller's daughter and whatever, and she's like 15 years old, and this like this Lord guy wants to marry her and you know, Miller's daughters don't say just no thank you to some guy who wants to marry them. Um, obviously. So she kind of has to. So she goes to his house um, because he asked her to. She can't really just be like, sorry, I don't want to go to your house. Um, so she goes to his house and there are these undead crows there telling her to turn back, but she can't do that either because there's something in the woods coming after her. Uh, she goes inside and she finds out that um, this guy is married to four, five other people and was also married to one other person too who is now dead. Um, and so she has to figure out what this guy's game is, what is going on, and how to stop him. Um, and I really, really enjoyed this book so much. I could barely put it down. But the only thing what that I was not so sure about it was that uh, there were a lot of things in it that didn't really get an explanation. There were a few things that uh, it just wasn't really said, like, why she had to do that specifically or why this worked exactly the way it did. There was just not really an explanation and I wish that there were. Um, so there were a few things like that, but other than that, this was a really, really enjoyable read and I really liked it. The Lean Startup. Uh, this is uh, what I read this month for my works book club. Uh, this is written by the guy who came up with the IMVU that maybe some maybe some of you guys have used or remember seeing. Like I remember seeing it a really long time ago, but I kind of forgot all about it and everything. But anyway, it's about kind of um, when you have a startup and what works, what doesn't work, like what um, what types of things that, like, a company that doesn't have a business model that has already been done before has to do. And I, even though this wasn't directly relevant to anything that I'm trying to do necessarily, um, it was really interesting to see what, you know, what a lot of businesses have to do. And it also defined some terms for me a little bit better, like, you know, what a startup actually is. Um, cause you know, obviously not every business is a startup, but like, so it's kind of like, well, what is a startup? And I understand now from this book, it is a, it is a business that, um, has not been, has not, they're, they're putting out a product or a service that, uh, nobody has before. So there is no, proven business model for it, basically. And there are other things too in it where I kind of went, oh, I can see how that is actually more important than I thought it was and all of that. So I, I really enjoyed this book and uh, um, I would definitely recommend it even if you're not, uh, you know, even if it's not anything that, you know, is relevant to you or your business or anything. Um, it is definitely really, really fascinating. And finally, last but not least, we have Malice. Uh, this was... Uh, just really disappointing to me, I guess. Uh, so this is a Sleeping Beauty retelling that is basically like the villain gets together with the princess. Um, and so it was a good idea, but I felt like it didn't do anything that interesting that hadn't been done at all. Um, it was kind of confusing in what lore it was necessarily going for. It was kind of doing a few different things at once. Um, and... Uh, it didn't really get good until like the last one fourth of it. That's when all the conflict really started happening. Up until that point, I like didn't really care. Um, it was just really dry. Um, the characters really didn't have uh, defining personalities very much. So I just found it really hard to get into the characters. Um, and so overall, it was just not for me. And the idea was really good. But I was kind of disappointed. So anyway, those are the books that I read in the first half of July. If you've read any of these and have any thoughts on them, uh, please let me know in the comments and I will see you very soon with a new video. Bye!